In this next part, they're solving word problems with algebraic fractions and I will go through the few common ones that always comes out. Okay. First, to find the rate of one item. Rate means how much is it for per item. Okay, so the one item cost is the total cost divided by the total number of things that you buy. Linda bought X woolen ruler for thirty six dollar. Okay, find the cost of each ruler. They will always lead you with this. So number A, cost of one ruler is equal to thirty six over X. Next, a plastic ruler costs fifteen cent cheaper than the wooden ruler. Write down an expression for a plastic ruler. Okay, so in this case, this is wooden. B. Cost of one plastic ruler is equal to 36 over x minus 0 0.15 because they say that it is cheaper. Okay, so for part C, now part C is the crucial part that you need to form the equation. If Linda used the same amount of money to buy plastic ruler instead, she will be able to buy 20 more plastic ruler. Form an equation in X and hence shows that it reduces to this. Okay, so in $36, okay, can buy X rulers. Alright, she will be able to buy 20 more plastic ruler. Okay, so at this point of time, he is only able to buy X ruler. How many ruler can she buy with thirty six dollars? X plus twenty. Okay, and how much does each plastic ruler cost? Okay, so this is the amount of plastic ruler eh, that she can buy. How much does each plastic ruler cost? Thirty six over X minus zero point five one five. Okay, so this is the cost of one ruler all right and all together she will spend how much 36 dollars and this is how we form the equation okay so amount of ruler multiplied by the cost of one ruler is equal to the total amount spent okay so now let's do distributive x times 36 over x for the sake of simplicity i will just write this down first okay plus 20 times 36 over x okay which is this times this next minus 0 0.15 x okay because this is this times this and then this times this minus 0 0.15 times 20 okay equals to 36 x times 0 point 36 over x cancel cancel you will just get 36 okay plus 20 times 36 over x this is numerator times numerator okay numerator times numerator 36 times 2, 720 over x minus 0 0.15x minus 3 okay, 0 0.15 times 2 is 0 0.3 times 10 okay, that would be 36 bring everything to one side you will left with 720 over x Minus 0 0.15x minus 3 equals to 0. I want to remove this x as a denominator. So I need to multiply by x to everybody. 720 minus 0 0.15x squared minus 3x equals to 0. Put it nicely all to the right side, which is because you see my x squared is negative 0 0.15x squared. But I, want, I, I want it to be positive. So 0 0.15x squared plus 3x minus 720 equals to 0 next the equation says i must form to become him okay what do i do i divide everybody by 0 0.15 so that this 0 0.15 disappears then i will get x square plus 20x minus 4800 equals to 0 and that is the how i can show you Okay, next D, let's just use this to do the cross factorization or you can just use your mod 3, 3 to do it. Yeah, x squared plus 20x minus 4800 equals to 0. Okay, 
then you use your calculator x minus what x plus what that would be maybe okay just take out your calculator and do it okay so you have x minus 60 and x plus 80 equals 0 x equals to 60 or x equals to negative 80 the one that is negative 80 got to reject because x is the number of wooden ruler okay so you have found that x is equal to 60 so what is the cost of wooden ruler and that will be equals to 36 over 60 which is equal to how much and the cost of one plastic ruler that will be equals to this amount plus 0 0.15 Okay, 36 divided by 60 will give you 0 0.60 60 cents and this will be 0 0.6 okay and that would be oh sorry it's less okay the plastic roller cost less minus 0.15 and that would be 45 cents okay so this type of question you know the important part is at C where you need to use the information they gave you to form the equation. Practice more. And the type of question they usually give is mostly this or the next few type of examples that I am going to go through.